So as you can see now that we're back with our soda bread, our soda bread's been cooked in the oven. So basically what we need is we need ourselves a bread knife. Best thing to do is put the thing through the middle, like so. And as you can see, nice brown effect in there. That's Irish soda bread, okay? It's um, basically originated from Dublin. If you look at a picture of St. Patrick, if you're a religious person, you'll see that on the picture of St. Patrick, he actually got a piece of soda bread in his, in his hands. That is to scare the snakes away, believe it or not. The soda bread was partly to do with scaring the snakes away out of Ireland. So there's a bit of history for you on the soda bread. What we're going to do is we're going to chop these into about half an inch thick. And we get through all those. What I'll do is I'll chop all those up and then uh, I'll lay those onto a plate and I'll uh, carry on with showing you how to make our Dublin prawn sandwich. So here we have laid out now our uh, Irish soda bread. There's four pieces on each plate. And um, basically what we're going to do now is we've got some finely chopped radish there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take that radish and I'm just going to spread that all over the bread. I'll stick that in the middle so you can see what I'm doing. Spread some radish over the bread. Make sure you've got enough for two plates because as you can see, I am uh, preparing this with the two of us, myself and the missus, the fiancé. We both like radishes in this house. These radishes have just come straight out of the garden. These are fresh uh, from the garden, um, which I've been growing for the last couple of weeks. Bit of a good life thing going on in the house here. Um, so there you go, you've got a bed of radishes there on top of your soda bread. Finely sliced radish, which will give it a bit of taste. Um, we'll stick that to one side. And then what you need to do then is you need to get your king prawns, you get some king prawns from any good supermarket, we lay those out nice and evenly on top of our soda bread. And they look absolutely fantastic, this is going to come together really nicely, I can't wait for the taste of this. Okay, we've evenly spaced those out on there. We're going to evenly space a few out on there as well. Some nice king prawns there. Fresh this morning from the fishmonger, my mate Scott from the Scott Reed project. And there we go. So on the on each piece of soda bread, we've got probably three king prawns on each one of them. Looking like we've got a few left over, so we'll just spread those out in the middle. And um, we'll spread those out as well, and there, like so. That's coming together absolutely beautiful. Okay, so, on go the prawns. <coughs> what you need to do now is uh, you need to get yourself some um, freshly chopped spring onion. Again, these have just come out of the garden, so we've just chopped those nice and finely. We're just going to sprinkle them in between the prawns. Get a couple in there so that we've got a nice uh, evenly spaced out. Oh, one got away there. Some nice spring onion there. Again, if you're not lucky enough to have a garden where you can grow these, you can just pick these up at a local supermarket. And um, it just adds to, adds to the taste, adds to the kick. Okay, so we've got those on there. Like so. And then we've got ourselves um, some freshly chopped celery. Now, I wouldn't even attempt to grow this in the garden because I think it's going to be quite difficult. So again, we just spread those over, over your prawns, which is uh, laying on a lovely bed of uh, freshly made Irish soda bread that we made earlier on in this video. Play your greens. Now, you're going to find that this is going to go quite green at the moment, but we are going to add some colour to it in a bit, which is not a problem. There you go, that'd be lovely. Right, so we just move those out of the way. And here, what we've got here, is something that we made earlier. What you need is you need three eggs, some lemon juice, some olive oil, and some Dijon mustard, and I tend to put a bit of Cajun in it as well. Um, and that's your mayonnaise. So basically, we've mixed all that together, we've put some lemon juice in it and all that. And what we need to do is just because that's been sat in the fridge, we're just going to give that a quick walk, just to freshen it up a little bit. Put 
and that's job done. So, again, I've used English mustard in there because the English mustard's got a little bit more kick. Now, I do love English mustard, so I, that's why I put it in there. There's a bit of Cajun in there, there's a bit of black pepper, there's a bit of salt in there. Um, one whole egg and then the separated white of two other eggs. You mix that all together with a little bit of um, olive oil, a bit, a bit of lemon juice, and that's ready then to go on top of your um, your prawn. So basically what we do is we evenly spread that out on the top like so, nice and thinly to start with so that you've got enough on each dish. And There you go. So that's that on there now, and then we're just going to the um, into the fridge. Excuse the white door for a moment. Go into the fridge and get ourselves out some uh, fresh lettuce. Easy with this. All you do, scrub yourself a piece off, and you just rip it. Rip it. Just put it right. A little bit of a rip here, there, and everywhere just so that it gives it a little bit of um, dressing, just presentation. Again, just do the one there, and I'll just rip that off, give it a bit of presentation. Rip some more off around there. And a little bit more here. Okay, so that's done. We'll just uh, stick that out of the way and just leave it there for now. Just get it out of your way so you can see what's going on. Okay, so there you go. You've got um, so far we've got down our soda bread, we've got our radishes finely chopped, we've got our king prawns on top, we've put our mayonnaise, we've put our um, lettuce round the sides there to give it a little bit of a dressing, a little bit of presentation. Still looking a bit bland, so obviously what you do, you get a couple of chopped tomatoes there, and a couple of chopped tomatoes there, and then we've got some um, chopped, not finely chopped, just chopped radishes that we can just plonk on the top there. Okay, so we plonk those on the top there like so. And again on this one. Now, I was very lucky to have this dish. This is the reason why I've done this dish, basically, for you guys. Is I was very lucky to have this dish in a, a little place just outside Dublin on the way to Ashbourne called the Brock Inn. Um, it's a family pub, and we do love going out into that pub when we are over there. And we had this dish there, and I thought, I've got to go home. I've got to make that. I've got to get this on there, YouTube, for you guys to have a look at and see what you think. This is a Dublin prawn sandwich. Irish soda bread, radishes king prawns and obviously salad and make your mayonnaise whatever way you want to make your mayonnaise I mean I've done mine with um, a little bit of Cajun a little bit of English mustard but that is an absolutely lovely dish on its own for a snack or a big snack or you can have that as a starter me and my girlfriend my fiance we're gonna have that as a starter and then we're gonna have some uh, pork after that but that is absolutely gorgeous there you have it Dublin prawn sandwich from the France the project enjoy <laughs>